All right. Well, kind of in a holding pattern over um, with the uh, an Explorer build, waiting on stuff. So I figure I'd get to the point where I can strip this down. This is my 1987, it's an 86, Washburn RR11B. I bought it brand new in January of 87 when I got out of the Navy, and I've had it since. For its 25th anniversary, I had, uh, wrote Washburn about getting it colored you know, repainted in the original colors and, and the striping and all that stuff done. And uh, they actually wrote me back and told me they didn't have time for just a paint job. So, um, I was kind of pissed off. You know, I got an instrument of theirs I've had since new, one owner, and they don't have time for just a paint job on one of their instruments like that. Now, now, how ridiculous is that? If I had built a guitar and somebody had it for 25 years, I'd want to see it, let alone have the chance to work on it. But no. I guess uh, old instruments are not worthy of some maker's times. So, But it is what it is. And uh, the reason you see it in the black and red is because I had a temper tantrum before I knew <laughs> um, true values of guitars that were old and, and how changing paint and all that stuff changes the, uh, the value of them. Not that I'd ever sell this. And, um, but, uh, yeah, so I... I 1987, uh, Queen put out a video, and they used the next year's model after this, and uh, it was white with uh, red stripes, so, and a big FU to Washburn, I decided to strip it down, and Paint it black with the red stripes, the inverse. So, needless to say, I kind of screwed myself. But, you know, it is what it is. And uh, I still own the guitar. I'm still happy with it. It's still, still one of my most favorite instruments ever. So, you cannot argue with that. Overall, it's in really, really nice shape. I've got a couple... A couple of screws that are stripped out of this and, and disappeared over the years, but we'll, we'll figure that out and, and fix that. And uh, we will go from there. But yeah, it's definitely a fun guitar to play. The, the, the thing I like about it most is how light it is. This thing is, is super, super light. And uh, they really sounded good. The only thing that's different from the original is they have uh, Washburn branded pickups, but EMG did make them. They were our EMGs. And uh, the original one had a, a uh, coil split. On it. So if we go from humbucker to single coil, and uh, I really didn't like the sound of it. So uh, basically, I put an EMG 81 in it, which were very, very popular at the time and still are. It's one of my all time favorite pickups to put on anything. And, uh, in case you're wondering, no, these aren't, uh, nearly as hard to work on. I, uh, wanted to see how well I can get the action on it, and I ended up, uh, 
since the stock brake angle was was weird, I ended up having to plate underneath here, as you can see, to raise that way up. And uh, they're not lined up. It was pretty much maxed. So, uh, yeah, that's the original Wonder Bar system. Still works. Still, still fairly good. It's not uh, all corroded like some of the ones you see. But uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool instrument overall. So, start by getting rid of this neck and get that out of the way. I'll show you the, the neck plate serial number here. I'll probably speed up some of this instead of yakking the whole time. But, uh, we will shoot the whole thing as much as we can. I'll, I'll stop and pause the video and, and break it up into sections like after I get this off and show you the plate. I'll stop because I ran into a problem with recording on that phone where big files got corrupted. So, there is the original plate. Hopefully that's centered. But anyway, we're going to stop that and we'll restart the video if I don't fall over. Uh, yeah. All right, on to the neck. Get that all, all taken apart so that it doesn't spill coffee all over myself. Ah, there we go. Yeah, nice ding that got put into it when it laid over. Actually, probably. Who knows why they're being held in? Even has the original dress rod cover. That's interesting. Oh, it's just screws loose in the back. I thought it was about ready to fall out. Thought maybe I lost one of them bad boys.
sure sign of either too much coffee or not enough. <laughs> that ain't got my granny glasses on, so I can't see them tiny screws. Man, I believe even still had the... You feel the, the original grease on them from, from the shafts. So you can't beat that for how old this thing is. We're talking 45 years old soon, or if it's not already, 45, 40, 44. So. It's had a decent life. It's given me a lot of joy over the years. So, it's like a best friend. You all know how that gets. Yes, I'm a little anal about this stuff so I don't lose hardware, so we're going to waste video time and put these on there. I know this is common hardware, but I'm trying to keep it all original as best I can. <clears throat> Obviously, not going to work perfectly for everything or forever, but we can make the effort. open when I open up the uh, the lock there locking nut that that metal plate inside inside that will be something I can replace. shit together there, what? All original nut, original frets. So, really can't beat this other than I screwed up the paint job. So, I'm going to remedy that. And I win. So that cover comes off, and I believe there's a, a block underneath that that may be able to uh, replace. set of locking screws on there. I tried to to uh, tap and use bigger screws but uh, that didn't work so well.
Actually, I think I'm going to stop it here and we'll get closer and tear this down so everybody can see what it is. All right, now we got a better view. We can deep dive into this and see what it's all about. That's it, Bill. Shoot the shoot the screws across your kitchen. Yeah, you can tell how stressed those threads are. After all these years of putting pressure on strings. You see those three screws there that pulls off a cover. I think there's a separate top plate here where these are threaded into. I hope that I can replace that. I know there's a, a little tab of fingers underneath there that those screws press down on so they don't wear into the strings and all that. That's that. That's what screws press down on that. Seem to be wearing through too much, so that's a good sign. But unfortunately, that looks like a one solid piece. Well, bulge there. I wonder what that is. I may, I may have to get a uh, block of metal and, and hand carve my own. I tried finding these, but you can't. So, what else is new? Welcome to, welcome to the world of antiques. Huh? Well, leave that. That actually, I think I'll put that back in so I don't lose it. that I knew I'm not ever going to find even if you do find a, a block it's probably going to be wore out and messed up so. anyway thus ends the teardown of my Washburn RR11B actually wait a minute I think why I got this out I'll do a quick once over of the uh, Wonder Bar system over there. Not too many people get to see one in this condition. All, all uh, original rollers are moving fine. Yep. So uh, the bearings and them are still all good. Hex screws are all good. It's not not corroded. A little bit of nastiness there from needing cleaning but overall that is an awesome awesome shape so I'm glad I own one of these because they are rare alright now that'll end the video filming <laughs>